Hi guys, how are you all doing? We're ready for the get ready with me video. Okay guys, so I know I've been doing more motivational um, sex education and wisdom videos on this channel. Don't fret, because I know I have some guy subscribers. You can click the box below to get to my next channel, Wisdom Teethingers. That's where I'll be loading those videos from now on, okay? Please subscribe, same information, you'll love it. Anyway, here we go, get rid of with me. We're gonna do a little contour, a little highlighting, just show you what kind of makeup look I would do if I was like going out, out. Like, you know, not just going to work, but going like out. <laughs> I just came back from the dentist too, look what they gave me. <sighs> Don't you just hate going to the dentist? Is it me, that buzzing in your ear? Is it just me and you? I've already prep, um, moisturized my face with uh, Burt's Bee sensitive skin and I've also primed my face. It's a little bit of a base too by Perfect Skin Perfection Gel. Organic, no cruelty type product. We're going to use the Cover Effects palette today. And this is the one N Deep. Just going to dip our brush into the lightest color right here. And we're going to do a little, put it right underneath our eye here for the highlight. I like to start off with the highlight first. Just because we'll blend it all out a little later. Put some on the other eye. Notice I didn't go up right underneath the eye because this thing creases. I'll add another highlighter or concealer later closer to the eye. Then we'll go in to the more flesh tone color or my skin tone. Here. Just kind of put it right underneath it. Yeah. So. I have horrible teeth. I don't even know what that is all about, but I do. And it's just about getting on my nerves because I've spent a whole lot of money going to the dentist. Just way too much money. So typically I don't like a lot of foundation on my forehead, but because we are going out, actually I'm not going out, I'm just going to film my video for, um, for my the S word series that I'm doing and I just thought I'd videotape myself. So that's what I'm going to do. Today we're going to be talking about, uh, what are we talking about again? Sexting and it's called the menstrual synchrony, synchronicity, something like that. We're going to talk about that. So if you missed the video, I'll probably link it at some point. Okay, so now we're just kind of blending everything out here so we don't have any harsh lines. I don't like a lot of foundation on my nose either, so what I just usually do is use the leftover and get it on my nose. Yeah, and this brush right here that I'm using is a Tarte brush. So, we've got the face pretty covered up, probably about as covered up as I want it to be right now. Maybe we'll put a little highlight in the center of the forehead here. That always looks good. Blend it out a little bit. All right, now we're going in with our contour. Deep color, number four. Same brush. I'm gonna bring it down. And we're gonna make a little curve, just a little. We'll do the other side. And you say why you want to do that, Dr. D. Nice? Because, I don't know, I've got little round cheeks and I kind of like, see, I like them to be showed up just a little when I'm doing my contour. So we're just going to blend that a little bit here, just for a shadow. Just want to blend that line out just a little. And I am actually going to go around the periphery of my face. Now, I really like my face shape. Some people don't, so they use a lot of contouring to change the shape, but I don't. 
I like my round head. Do you all have a round head? <laughs> it looks so cool. I kind of like it. However, I really use this as a just to put some dimension back into your face. You know, there's some natural shadows that are on your face, and once you put on the foundation, it just takes that away. So this is basically just bringing it back in. So I just put it around the edges there. I am actually going to put a little bit on my jawline. And the reason for that is... <laughs> okay. It's been winter and I put on a few pounds. <sighs> I did. And I'm trying to get rid of them right now. I'm actually going to do a video where I record my workout. I am going to go in just a little bit with this is the elf this is their contour and bronzing cream uh, Saint Lucia this thing has like a little bit of more of a pink pinkish I don't know undertone to it I'm gonna put a little bit right there and then I'm gonna use the blush that's in it also there's a little blush to my cheeks a little flesh bring a little color back well Let's move on to the eyes, shall we? And got my brush and got my shadow. It's a Makeup Forever color. Not quite sure what the color is. It's kind of a orangish, brownish, beige. Not beige, but brownish, orange. It's kind of like Max Brown script. There we go. Just kind of giving the A little, just a little definition to the crease. Blends out really nice. Just kind of flick it up. So seriously, I had to stop filming, go pick up my kids from school, and now I'm back. We're going to finish. So if the angle looks a little different, that's what's going on. Now we're going to line our bottom lash line with another Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. It's a waterproof liner and the color is 16L. Placing this green um, the bottom lash line. There we go. Alright. Then we are actually going to go over it with Cargo. Cargo is the brand, and this color is Green Bay. Nice, shiny green. And we're going to take a Bare Minerals dual ended brush, and this one right here. I really love it. Oh my goodness. I found that this works perfect for when I'm doing anything on the bottom lash line because it just doesn't get in my eyeballs. We're just going to. Oh, look at that. Nice. I love it. That was the Tarte Tartalist liner, by the way. And, alright. It actually comes with this cool little brush. It's right here. And, you just kind of squeeze it up. Mount the product you need. There's a little funnily part right there that holds the product and just stick it in there so that's pretty cool this is the first time I'm ever doing it with like one hand usually I hold my eye out with one hand and then we're just trying to perfect it here mascara for mascara we're gonna do Chanel and then the great lashes by Maybelline. Typically that's what I do. I just use a lighter color lighter color on the whole lash and then put a darker color at the end. Usually a couple of coats. And if you're wondering how come Dr. D Nice, how come you didn't add any mascara to your bottom lashes? Well, quite honestly, I have no bottom lashes. There's like two of them. Two little tiny, 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 tiny things. And so because of that, I just don't put any on them. I've tried before, then it just looks all scraggly and blah, 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 so I don't even bother. 
Anyway, so what I did, I applied a little bit of extra concealer. This one doesn't crease much. So this is the MAC NW30 in the Select Moisture Cover. Right here. Just put a little bit on my bottom lash line. And I'm going to use it to kind of contour out my brows. This is the Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown and Anastasia Brush Dual Ended, one with a spoolie, and the angled brush. Just brush the hair through, and we're ready to do it. I keep my brows pretty natural looking, nothing really. Nothing really fan, um, fabulous about my brow routine. I do have two different brow routines though. I'll do a video on that. One if I'm wearing glasses and the other one if I'm not. And we're just filling out that concealer just a little bit. And that's the one I will put a little closer to the lash line because this one, like for real, barely ever creases on me. Let's set the face. First we're going to set our con our contour and what I'm using is Iman's pressed powder just a little darker than my skin tone in earth dark it's on this cool container you twist it and the product comes up and I use it to set my contour elf setting powder just to set we're gonna set our highlight and we're gonna use hourglass ambient lighting power in diffuse light kind of more of a white creamy color and because we're doing the most I want my highlighter to be a little bit more a brown lip liner I just love this liner this brown liner is from Sephora yeah. just filling them in a bit then we're going in with Bobbi Brown this is like a great orange color Bobbi Brown creamy matte lip in Valencia Orange. Think we're done? Maybe we could add some blush? That's another thing I don't like to wear a lot of blush. This is just pink tart I'm used. We're just gonna finish off here with same brush that we use for the eyeshadow and just set our concealer. Hmm. That's the finished look. What do you think? Oh, and remember, basically it's I'm going to link my other videos to share over in the side there the for cells. you. Okay. Snapchat, Hope you liked it. Instagram, Bye. Emails. What else? Texting most of all cuz that's where the name came from and it's just